Okay, the most abundant stars. The other thing we can do is categorize them by how many, how often we've discovered them. How many of them we've discovered and how often. And we can make a, what's known as a histogram. And you see that the, by histogram, you see here, histogram, HR diagram, histogram. What that means is basically when we discover these, we, we, uh, we start piling them up on a building, how many of them we've discovered. And we've discovered lots and lots and lots and lots of red dwarfs. They are by far the most abundant, okay? Then the second most abundant, white dwarf. These are dead stars. And then as you go down the HR diagram and then the main sequence, orange stars are like the third most abundant, yellow, green, blue, the, the height of the building means how many you have, we have discovered, not that many. Then we go over here, not that many. Super giants, giants, not that many because they don't live there very long. As soon as they become a super giant and a giant, they're gonna die within thousands of years, okay? Red dwarfs, lots of them. It's kind of similar to how things kind of work on Earth. The most abundant animal in the animal kingdom, at least one of the most abundant, are the ants, right? The smaller they are, the more they reproduce and uh, they last a long time and they just keep reproducing billions and billions of ants. Uh, do you expect to find as many elephants? No, elephants are more complex, you know, they, uh, you know, there aren't that ma as many of them. It's kind of the similar uh, concept. The red dwarfs, lots of them, one of the reasons we're going to see there are lots of them is because they live very, very long. They don't ever die, okay? So the, the stars are talking to us. Uh, rain, okay? What do you want us to do? <laughs> really weird. It may rain. I don't ever remember May rain, so it happens, you know? It has to, something to do with the red dwarfs probably, something red dwarfs, white dwarfs. Um, so the most abundant stars are the red dwarfs. The second most abundant, white dwarfs. The least abundant stars are the giants and supergiants. I've always wondered what the sky would have looked like if things were opposite. Let's say these guys lived very long, these guys lived very short, and then the, the sky would be full of supergiants and giants. What would the sky look like? It would be amazing. You would go out at night and the sky would be full of stars, even from LA, you know? It'd be boom, 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 you can't even count them. But unfortunately, that's not the way. The super giants and the giants, they don't last very long. There aren't too many of them. So you can't see, uh, you know, you can't see that many stars at night. These ones are so dim that you can't really see. They don't make much significant impact in the night sky because they're very dim, okay?